Hi guys, um, it's Friday, it's a lovely day out there today, um, it's lovely and sunny. I was in work but we were quite quiet so I gave my uh, boss a ring, he's in Paris at the moment working away so I uh, gave him a ring and asked him if I could have half day and he said yes and here I am. So I'm back in my van now, um, just had dinner, I'm going to get my boots on and take you down and show you what it's all about. Um, what it is, it's a nature reserve. Um, and down at the bottom on the riverbank there's our uh, old leprosy church which dates back to like the 1100s. So I'll take you for a walk down there and take you for a walk along the cliffs and uh, show you the beautiful place that is the Wye Valley. So uh, follow me guys. So there's my van and we are here. Show you on the board where we are now. So this is here, Lancourt, Lancourt Nature Reserve. There's my old bus. So let's go. <clears throat> what a beautiful day. <sighs> well, I'm glad I'm here. That beats being in work, doesn't it, eh? <clears throat> Cut that down. Oh. Just down there is the River Y, and that's where we're walking to. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. I've just uh, turned off now and uh, take the track down. Oh, I love being in the fresh air. It smells amazing out here. Spring has definitely sprung and on the way. <clears throat> Just makes you want to take big lungfuls of air because it feels so clean in there. It smells so nice. So, we're on the descent now, down to the river. Um, spring is definitely underway. Um, all the nettles are starting to shoot up now, which is good because I'm absolutely addicted to nettle tea. It's full of goodness. Um, loads of vitamins in nettles. And uh, I like eating it on, uh, with uh, scrambled egg as well. Just getting the leaves, whacking them in a bit of hot water for a bit and uh, just serving it up with a bit of egg. It's real nice. <clears throat> and then uh, with the water, then you make a cup of tea with it. Which is quite nice. <clears throat> bit of honey. Hot water, nettles, can't go wrong. Um, oh, it's lovely over here. Um, we'll be coming across um, some old clay kilns in a minute as well, which I've just restored. I'll uh, get them on camera for you as well. And uh, we'll have a lucky look. So this is the old clay kilns. I think from what I've read, they used to bring the clay up from the river, which is where we're going now. And these are quite old. I've uh, camped in these overnight. They're quite dry. There we go. Yeah, so you can imagine it could be absolutely tipping it down and you'd be sat in here overnight. Get your little fire going at the entrance and you'd be well away. Awesome. Bit of off-roading to be done here. Oh, glad I got my boots on because I'd be falling on my ass by now I think. Oh. Starting to smell the old uh, ramsons growing now. Look at this, I love all this stuff. Look at this. I love it. Proper nature. It's 
so I honestly can't think of anything better I'd want to do on a Friday afternoon to be fair getting out uh, hopefully I'll have a little fire down I've got my little um, Ikea hobo ho air stove so I'll get that on have a cup of tea and have a chill out down on the river so we're now going into the nature reserve part now we've got all back boxes and stuff hanging up around here and all these trail cams and stuff so pretty little place <clears throat> very muddy underfoot but I'm sure we'll get there in one piece Ooh, bit of a slip on there oh and again I might end up on my ass yet right guys I'm gonna put this camera down before I fall over let's catch up with you in a second So we're halfway there now. Um, a lovely field this is. It's really good for camping in the summer. It's nice and flat. You can pop a tent up in there like a bit of uh, stealth camping. And uh, chill out. A little barbecue on the go. <sighs> Some old wood piles there rotting away like. I find that such a waste of wood myself. People like me who like to do craft stuff with wood, like to do a bit of wood carving. I find that an awful waste. Oh, just found some fungus on a tree. Have a look. Oh. There we go. How lovely is that? a bench here so we can have a little break if we uh, need one but we don't because we're feeling fit and healthy today and we're not stopping <clears throat> I've got to say though I can't wait to get the kettle on when I get down to the bottom you'll start to see the view now at the river and this is the uh, river Y and uh, I'm being a bit careful because it's a bit slippery here oh, look at that view down there it's beautiful Right, I am probably going to end up on my ass now because it's very slippery. <clears throat> but I'll try my best to stay upright today. Have a look at that view. What a beautiful view that is. Look at that, I'll do a little. Uh... There we go. So, sorry about that, my phone rang. Uh, can't escape the old uh, modern technology can you? I suppose I could keep my phone in my van but it's nice to know you've got your phone on you you know what I mean as modern people tend to feel a bit lost without our phones these days. <sighs> lost those birds. I say that and they go quiet. Oh there we go. Ah oh, makes you feel alive doesn't it? So I'll keep this filming all the way down to the bottom because I want to show you the view. And we're approaching the uh, Lepsy Church now. <clears throat> I've camped in there a few times as well, which is uh, a pretty strange thing to do, most people will say, but um, I find it quite chilled in there, to be fair. Let's go and have a look. Oh, let's just pop over this little uh, tombstone. Yeah, look, they've used an old tombstone to make a little gateway. <clears throat> there we go. What a beautiful little place is it? So if I do a little turn across there then. There we are. So yeah, this church was Christ, I think it's back goes back to the eleven hundreds. It pre it goes back to the same date as Chapstow Castle, I believe. So uh, it's been here a long time. <clears throat> I think it's all locked these days. Yeah, there's a little bit of right in there. So it was dated back, well there we are, to the 7th and 8th century. And they used to bring people here suffering from the Black Death. Nope, I'm really not wrong there. 
Oh, the village was abandoned after the Black Death. So there was a whole village here, which is no longer here, as you can see. And uh, the church takes back to 1130. So that's quite a long time ago. There's the village there that used to be here. I don't know if you can see that. There's all the villages there. Very cool. Should we see if we can have a look inside? Yeah, it's open. So there's the old. Uh, I don't know if that's a, the old pulpit. That's what you call it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> now, I normally bring a few candles and I'll put them in here and light them. A bit of a sign of respect for anyone uh, buried here still. Hasn't been dug up. But yeah, there we go. So this is the the old leprosy church. <coughs> like I said, I've camped in here a few nights. There's the old is what you call a pulpit, I'm not too sure, or a font, something like that. That's what they used to put the old uh, holy water in. And we've got these windows with these amazing views. Look at that. Yeah, that is a view. So right, we'll make our way down to the river now. I'm trying to work out if the tide's coming in or going out. I can't quite see from here. But either way, we'll have a look when we get down there. So what we'll do now, we'll use the bottom gate, which also looks like it used to be some sort of headstone. <laughs> Make our way down to the river. I don't know if I'll be able to get a brew on today, whether it's too wet, whether the wood will all be wet, but we'll have to see, I suppose. <clears throat> Maybe chance of slipping on my ass again here. I will tell you, I did uh, fall over coming down the hill, but that's my honesty for you there, look. Oh, yeah, there's a nice big old tree there. Uh, but that's really old, really wide. Uh, we'll go this way. Yeah, as you can see, all the uh, metals are starting to come up now. So it won't be long, another month and I'll be shooting. And we can start drinking nettle tea again. Right, let's find our bearings now. Right, we're nearly there now. There's the River Wye, and this is known as Horseshoe Bend. Has the shape, as it's the shape of a horseshoe, I guess. <laughs> no brainer, really, isn't it? There we are, beautiful. And just up there, then, is the church. I love this little place because it's like literally going back in time. There's no modern buildings, it's just all old. There's an old building there, look. Not sure what that used to be. But um, yeah, it just looks so ancient, doesn't it? And you've got all these cliffs. It's like literally going back in time. I like to stand here and just think, you know, it could be at any time, any period, and it probably doesn't look any different. Because it's just all cliffs and water. Amazing. <clears throat> so we'll head through this gateway now. And we'll walk around the bottom of the cliff and we'll try and find somewhere to have a little fire and my little uh, hobo stove. We'll get the kettle on and have a little rest. <clears throat> Remember guys, 
Whenever going through gateways, always make sure you close them. <clears throat> so I'm expecting it to be quite wet down yet, as you can hear. It's very soggy. It's going to be very wet. Oh, good job I got my uh, booties on. <clears throat> Keep my feet nice and dry. Ah, there we go. There's another little place I want to show you, just around the corner around here. It almost looks prehistoric. It's really pretty. It's another place I used to camp as well. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Just hope my camera can do this justice. Whoop, nearly fell on my ass again then. Right. I'll switch the camera back on in a minute, guys, when I get to this little place I want to show you. This is another spot that I used to camp at. It's nice out of the way. My fire pit's gone. Hey, look, it's over there. Look, someone's chucked it all over there. So, yeah, my fire pit's gone. But you can sit here, you've got a nice view of the river. And you're tucked away. You've got these nice big fallen trees to hang your kit off. <clears throat> I said hang your kit off, not take your kit off. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take you up to this bit now. This is my bit that I think looks quite prehistoric. Ah, oh, there we go. So, I'm getting to the bit now where I'm going to have my uh, my brew. The state of that. Absolutely filthy. Look at that. So yeah. Little mound here. Don't know if you can see it. Uh, Dush here. I'm going to climb up there now. Get my kettle out. My little hobo stove out and get a fire going. Uh, you can see. Um, I don't know if you can see here. Let's get down. Down there, down, 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 down. Primroses. Everyone on this mound. I should call it Primrose Hill, shouldn't I, eh? Hey? <coughs> yeah, let's get up there. Oh. I think it's got to be one of my favourite places in the Wai Valley to come. Um, you rarely see people down here. This is my little hill fort. And, uh, <clears throat> get a little fire going and get the kettle on. So, there we are. The River Wye in all its goodness and greatness. And then you've got the cliffs. <sighs> Alright, let's make a cup of tea. See you in a bit, guys. <laughs> here I managed to climb up to here and I got stuck and so it took me about two hours to get back down but honestly it looks nothing on camera but when you go up there it's really steep and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna walk all along here all along here to here and there's a big landslide there and I'll show you that it's pretty cool right I'll catch you in a moment Hey, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to collect some thin bits of wood for my, uh, my little wood stove. <coughs> it's only a... I always remember to bring a chair because it's wet and I don't want to sit on the wet floor. <sighs> this chair has seen better days to be fair. Um, the old stuff. 
So this is just a utensil holder that I got from Ikea. Cut a little square into it. Gives you somewhere to feed the wood in then. And this is just a little grill that I bent over so I can put my kettle on top then. Quite easy. So I'll find somewhere to set that up now. So this was just a utensil holder from Ikea, cost like two pound. Just cut, just cut a little square in it there. This was just like a, a rack. I just bent it to the right shape to fit on top so I can put my cat on again. So I'm going to find some wood now to put in there. Get that baby fired up, get the kettle on, get a cup of tea on the go. So I'll uh, catch you in a bit, I'm just going to go get some wood. So, I'm going to cheat a bit today. I'm going to use some cotton wool to get it going because everything's a bit damp. A bit strange, I actually love the smell of fire. It makes me think of like the old days, you know. So that is going now. few minutes I'll be able to get the uh, kettle on and get a brew. That's pretty much going there guys. I've got my cup of tea going now. I'm going to have some stinky mackerel.
Ah, and this is how I escape the stress of modern life. Um, it helps to get out a bit, you know, get away from people. Have a little fire, have a brew and just chill out really. Just getting away from people. Um, sounds really horrible, but I'm just getting to a stage in life where I can't stand people. Not all people, of course. There's a lot of good people out there, but I just generally like my own company. I like to get away and uh, just be here with my thoughts, really. Yeah, it's relaxing. Especially with all this virus talk going on, you know. Just I don't want to be around people, so that's my escape. So I'll finish my tea now and we'll go for a walk to the, um, the landslide and I'll show you that, it's pretty cool. I don't know what you're all doing with your Fridays, but um, I'm having the children. I've got two of them, very handy for camping, and uh, tea tastes really good out of these uh, wooden mugs. You can buy them on uh, Amazon, I think they're about three or four pound. So what I did, I bought myself one, <coughs> and I copied it, I made one. I hang them in the van and they look kind of uh, cool. Can't fold it for the money really. That's going to last you a lifetime if you look after it. So, alright guys, I'm going to pack my kit up now and uh, we'll go for a walk along to the, uh, the landslide. So there you go guys, you wouldn't even tell I've been here and that's the way you should keep it. And if you come to a nice little pretty spot, leave it exactly how you found it. No rubbish, no mess, no trace of having a fire and that's the way you should be. So, what we're going to do now we're going to walk around to where the, uh, the landslide is. Hopefully get some nice views of the river along the way. Uh, there you go. And there we are. Off we go. A load of boulders there that have uh, obviously fallen from up there. There we are. So let's go. Okay, if I we walk, don't have sprain an ankle and have to walk all the way back up that hill with a broken or sprained ankle, do we? Because that's not going to be fun. Right, it looks like the tide is coming in. It's definitely getting higher. Oh, squidgy ground. Yeah, it's definitely coming in. It's getting higher. But you can see what I said now, like about being back at any, you know, it could be in any period of time now, because there's nothing here. You wouldn't be able to tell what period it was. It's just basically untouched land, which is the best land if you ask me. <clears throat> oh, a bit wet by here. Oh, it's good here. So, on fourth, they say. <clears throat> oh, it smells so nice down here. So, it smells so fresh. You've got the smell of the trees, you've got the smell of all the plants coming up, you've got the smell of the river. A beautiful river. Oh, look at that. So, I'm going to turn the camera off now because I've got this quite unsteady bit to walk up and I don't want to fall over so I'll catch you in a minute. Bye guys. Ah, so here we are again. Ah. I'll take my eyes off the camera for a bit because there's a uh, Quite a slippy track we're on there. I don't want to fall in the river. I'll show you the little track now. It's quite slippery. <clears throat> oh. 
So this is uh, this is Landcourt Nature Reserve. Um, it's in uh, up on the Chase. I, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Tidnam Chase. That's where this is, just on Horseshoe Bend. <clears throat> oh God, that smells great. I almost wish I had my hammock. I'd uh, proper in the mood for staying out today. Spend the night in the woods, that'd be great. But I haven't got my hammock, I haven't got any food, because I've just asked. And I've got my daughter tonight, so in about an hour I've got to head off up to Wales, up the valleys, and pick her up. I'll uh, catch you in a bit, guys. Turn to my right now. Excuse the sun. Ah, beautiful. So I think this walks all along the cliff face. I think you can walk from Tidnam Chase all the way back to Chepstow, all along the cliffs. Oh, it's quite washed out down here. Are we gonna sink? No, we're fine. Ah. All these areas are really good places to camp in the summer. Um, you have to watch out for the mozzies though. Look at all that eroding away there, look. Oh, that used to be quite a long, wide bit of path here and it's all gone. All washed away. <clears throat> right, with the viewing bench here now. I'm just going to take you up here though, because uh, it's an old chain here I used to play on as a kid. And it's always nice to come back, so you know, because chains last forever. I don't know what it was originally put here for, but um. Quite handy to help you get up there. The hill. the cliffs and there we go so I'm gonna head back to the uh, van now which is about an hour's walk and um, get the kettle on there's climbers up there can you hear hello there's climbers up there climbing and uh, yeah let's make it back to the van guys so I couldn't make it to the landslide. Um, there's been a lot of fallen trees and it looks a bit dangerous, so I'm not going to risk that today. And I've got to be back, so uh, brisk walk back now to the van, have a cup of tea, and head off up to the valleys. Um, <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed the scenes I've shown you today. Pretty little place. And uh, yeah, I'm going to head back for a cup of tea now in the van. So I'll catch you in a moment, guys. See you soon. I'll tell you what guys, if any of you guys are out there want to get fit, don't fancy going to a gym if you don't like the gym scene. Um, I suggest you go out walking, get a backpack, put a nice bit of weight in it, 
and walk quite briskly. And uh, I'm sure you'd get fit pretty quick, especially if you've got some uh, some hills and downhills and all that malarkey. Because this is all up and down and up and down. It goes for miles. So you imagine having a backpack on. It's a nice bit of weight in there. Walk as fast as you feel like you. Yeah. It's going to get you fit, isn't it? Definitely put uh, definitely put some uh, good fresh air in your lungs. So uh, that is my advice for the day. Right, I'll concentrate on walking now, guys. So guys, I am back. Oh, that was a hell of a walk back up that hill. I am pooped. <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna get the kettle on there, guys, and uh, get my breath back. Have a brew, have a biscuit. And then I gotta head off to go and pick my daughter up from uh, up to the valleys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along on my little journey. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, Till next time. Cheers, thank you. Overnight, guys. Have a good day.